David, congratulations, enormous congratulations. Thank you. You seem genuinely gobsmacked um, watching that reel. I mean, well, I, you know, like? I wouldn't have given me this. I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled that somebody else wanted to do it. No, it's amazing. It's very overwhelming, yeah. Did you not have any clue? You didn't, like, pick up on any sly hints or...? No, I don't know what hints there were. I mean, <laughs> the fact that Pixie Lot started singing a Proclaimer song meant something to me, but I wasn't <laughs> aware that that meant that that, that that linked me to the greater world. But then when Craig and Charlie came on, I thought, well, I still didn't. I still didn't imagine this was about to happen. But I thought, oh, it's like my own private concert. This is great. <laughs> the NTAs are celebrating your whole career. So, I mean, what do you consider to be your breakthrough role? That's really hard to say because I, I think when you're in it, uh, any kind of a career feels feels like uh, much more of a slow progression from one thing to the next, mm. and that's how it's really felt uh, to me. Um, I, I think people objectively will, you are aware of you when they are first aware of you, and they, they, that, that that then becomes. Uh, you know what what your breakthrough role i suppose but it's quite hard to be uh to be objective about i think um i, I suppose something like doctor who meant uh, you know you it had a ubiquity to it that mm. sort of nothing else has yeah, really universal yeah because it, of its sort of it's a kind of cross-generational cross-cultural thing um uh, Broadchurch has come close to that, though, mm. uh, in ways that you know, none of us, I think, predicted. And that's wonderful to be in the centre of something like that. It's great. I mean, do you have ambitions for the future? What's what's left to achieve? <laughs> oh, so much to achieve. <laughs> so much. To, you know, the, I, of course, there's lots of things I'd love to do. And, and uh, you're always just looking for the next challenge and the next exciting uh, thing, whatever that might be. I guess Roland Hannibal has got to happen eventually, surely, David. This is talked about a lot. <laughs> I think it's talked about more by other people than by myself and Brian, but yeah. I, I do talk to Brian, who, who, who uh, runs the show, and uh, I would love to work with him at some point. Yeah. I mean, it's seven years ago, I think it was now, you uh, made the dramatic declaration that you would be leaving Doctor Who. Yes. I mean, what do you think of the show in, in its current state and with, with Peter Capaldi? I've I mean, always loved Doctor Who. I yeah. grew up loving Doctor yeah. Who. I know you're a fan. The, the, you know, the fact that... <laughs> I, I get recognised for being on the telly yeah. is in due in no small part to the very existence of Doctor Who, yeah. which is the show that I grew up loving and, and was so inspired by. Um, so I continue to be uh, thrilled and inspired by it. Mm. It's it's great, you know, and and, and uh, uh, the fact that I'm in a, you know slightly on the other side now has vanished. Now I just get to enjoy it again. Yeah. Well, we love seeing you in the fiftieth. So would you like to work with Peter on the show again? Or? Well, I did work with Peter on the show previously, of course. Oh well, that's uh, true. Yeah, technically. So, technically. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, but. I think you have to ration these things. Mm. Uh, you know, it's it's great fun for me to mm. go back and, uh, and and do an anniversary show, but it's probably got to be at least ten years, probably before that happens again. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah.